Welcome back to the channel and I hope you are doing absolutely well. This is AT back with another video. So today it's gonna to be the review of the Pixel Experience official based on Android 10 for the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So without any further ado, let's now get started. So here is my Redmi Note 5 Pro running the Pixel Experience ROM Android 10. By the way guys, I've already reviewed the initial builds of this ROM on my channel. Link is in the description or just check my channel. And I've already reviewed Pixel Experience like so many times on my channel. So this is not gonna be an in-depth review. I'll be talking about battery life and performance with this build. By the way, this is the latest build at least at the time of recording this video. And as per the change log, there has been some bug fixes done in this build and developer also has specifically mentioned that he has fixed the airtel volte also the vodafone volte it seems i didn't try vodafone because i don't have vodafone sim airtel volte works fine let me first show you the about device section before talking about anything else so going into the about phone and the android version as you can see the android version is obviously android 10 and as you can see these gestures are available over here that's really nice android security patch level is of 5th december 2019 the kernel here it says pixel and etc the version is 4.4.206 and this is the official build by the way here it is and couple of other stuff so talking about digital well-being here is digital well-being and it works absolutely well as you can see the graph is properly shown over here i haven't updated anything yet but still it's working absolutely well security and location i mean the lock screen location works fine fingerprint scanner is working absolutely well as you can see lock the device wait for one second Unlock it again, it works absolutely well. It detects my finger at least 90% of the time, so that's really nice. Display option is also again pretty much similar. All the standard stuff is present over here as you can see. Styles and wallpapers, there it is. Font style, icon style, etc. And also the color if you want to. You can play with it, it's working fine, no issues with that. It might give a force close at times, but I didn't had any force close till now. So talking about the display size etc you can change if you want to default looks really better for me and night light let us try it out really quick as you can see works absolutely well you can change the intensity of it from here auto brightness also works fine i have disabled it for the moment going into wi-fi network etc everything is working absolutely well even the hotspot is working fine let me show you that as you can see it's working well no issues with anything over here and also the Volte, as I told you earlier, works well. So talking about the performance in this room, let me show you my last Android score really quick. And as you can see, I've got a score of 1,10,056. And for more details, you can pause the screen and have a look at it if you want to. Here it is. Awesome score and talking about the performance guys, it's buttery smooth I should say, as you can see no lags whatsoever in the system. And even the RAM management is good, really good better than some other roms too and here it is guys all the applications i have installed pubg and youtube and tutu apart from all other apps came pre-installed with this rom i didn't install anything fm radio is also there but you need to connect a headset in order to use it and talking about the performance as i was telling you it's really smooth guys it's really smooth as you can see let me show you the app opening times here it is no lags whatsoever but really smooth animations I can use it for max 2 days, so if anybody needs any information regarding this ROM, I mean long term use it, you can DM me on Instagram, link in the description or it's appearing somewhere over here. So talking about the battery life, let me first show you my battery graph. I didn't use this one much till now, but I will have a screenshot on my Instagram stories, you can just follow me over there. As you can see over here, this is my usage. Some of the applications aren't appearing over here that were appearing in the digital well-being. But talking about the PUBG gameplay guys, PUBG was running absolutely well, HD option, high frame rate and 2% of drain for one TDM match, smooth performance, even in the extended gaming it was not lagging whatsoever, device was getting slightly heated up but no lags whatsoever in PUBG, that's really nice and other usage as you can see over here, I also use camera app a little bit, it's not appearing over here. In mixed usage, it has now gone to 87%. It was somewhere around 92% when I first booted it. 92 to 93%. Here it is. Yes, I have not used it much till now, but I'm just running short of time. I have a lot of ROM reviews pending, so I need to test it further. I need to test it at least till 50% and I'll have a screenshot on my Instagram stories as I told you earlier. Or if I just forget to post it, you can just ask me on Instagram. I will share it there. 
So in a nutshell till now the battery life is really good I didn't had any issues battery life and performance is also really great so this was a quick little review of the Pixel Experience Roam let us build official for the Redmi Note 5 Pro so that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this also do follow me on Instagram and Facebook I'm active over there you can ask me any questions regarding tech this is all about technology 24 to 7 signing off for the moment you guys have a great day peace <laughs> Through the highways and the